Well, oh well, it seems like the accusations may actually be true, and that is looking almost certainly like they are true when it comes to the Mr. Beast Chris Tyson situation. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Idol, and yes, stepping away, YouTuber Mr. Beast co-host Ava Chris Tyson steps down and apologizes after allegations of inappropriate messages to a minor. Now, let's be real, in my video about this yesterday, I said that... Yeah, yeah, this is probably 100% true, just taking a look at the history, the track record of individuals like this, and uh, now they've actually left, stepped down, uh, which I believe is code for was fired, we'll get to why here in a moment. Before we get into this, hit that subscribe button, I'm a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, and again, yeah, this isn't particularly nerdy news, but it is very culturally relevant to what's going on in the YouTube sphere, as well as uh, the political and cultural sphere as a whole, given, you know, the recent transition of the co-host after... Uh, uh, let's be real, looking to be just the perfect man, perfect father for so many years. Yeah, it turns out there's a bit of a dark history to Chris Tyson. And the way this article is written is honestly kind of hilarious because it's from the U.S. Sun. The U.S. Sun, much like most media, having a very particular lean. But let's go ahead and see what it says. Uh, Tyson, 28, appeared alongside... Her friend, Jenny, J uh, Jimmy Donaldson. The, the, the entire article, they're going to use the her pronoun. Yeah, look, even if I did want to respect your pronouns, that respect pretty much goes out the door the moment you're stuck and caught, uh, you know, talking inappropriately to children. So, like, like you, you know how I feel about the pronoun stuff to begin with. Not a fan. You can't magically chop your cock off and become the opposite gender. However, you know what? If you're, if you're nice to me, if you're chill, if you're one of those homies that, you know, aren't trying to shove things down people's throats, maybe as a common courtesy, I'll call you what you want to be called. No, 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 no. Not in this case. You, you ain't earned that. Uh, you know, just, just so we're all on the same page here, massively popular YouTube channel, Mr. Beast, for many years. Uh, so yeah, when you see me read through here, I'm of course going to be using uh, the correct terminology. However, Tyson announced on Tuesday that he would step away from the channel that has more than 305 million subscribers. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended people, Tyson shared on X. Notice they don't actually confirm or deny that, you know, they actually did anything inappropriate with a minor because, well, that would be some sort of implication. No, 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 you're just going to say, I may or may not have done some stuff, I apologize for it, despite the fact this is the sort of thing that requires uh, far more than an apology, and yeah, it's, uh, if, if it offended people. This goes well beyond offense, if you ask me. It was not my intent. What was your intent? I'm just, I'm just genuinely curious, like, 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 what was your intent if that's the case? You know, you know what, probably don't answer that. Tyson has recently come under fire for allegedly sending inappropriate messages to a minor who she met... Ah, I was just reading, I met, I, I'm sorry guys, who he met when the fan was 13 and he was 20. The two met at the fan won an onion competition at the time, and Tyson went by the name Chris Tyson. Oh my goodness, this is so, this is so ridiculous. Like, like they are talking more about the fact that the individual is trans, they're caring more about the gender identity, than the fact that there may have been some, some actual harm done to a minor. And I don't necessarily mean physical harm or whatnot, because at the very least, this is a grooming situation. This messes you up in the mental. It is absolutely disgusting, but they want to make sure, oh, j just so you guys know, it was spelled C-H-R-I-S before the time of transitioning. Get the hell out of here, the sun. How is that relevant to the news? The fact of the matter is, very successful YouTuber, or at least co-host on a YouTube channel, uh, has, has been grooming a minor for multiple years. And now this information is coming to light, and, and, and you want to focus on, oh, by the way, Chris used to be spelled C-H-R-I-S. That is absolutely uh, uh, insane. Tyson and the fan messaged each other for a few years on public online forums before meeting in person when, they t uh, when the teen turned 16. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. That is the hilarious, that, that is the funniest part of the entire tweet. Seeing recent events... We've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away. No, no, no. That is code for you got fired. We all know you got fired. We also know that Mr. Beast has one of the most successful brands on the entire platform of YouTube and off YouTube. I mean, at this point, there's probably individuals out there who are 45 years old, open up DoorDash, who don't even know what, who Mr. Beast is and don't spend their time on the internet, but they see Mr. Beast Burger and they're like, huh, what's that? I'm curious. And they get it sent to him on a rainy Wednesday afternoon. Like, like let's be real. Mr. Beast has transcended YouTube. He can't come out and say, you're fired. 
fire because the internet will rain stones and fire upon him because of all that transphobia, despite the fact that it's not transphobic in the slightest to fire one of your employees if they were, you know, messaging underage children. But again, you gotta play the political shell game. There's a reason that Mr. Beast hasn't actually come out with a statement on this right now because no matter what statement he makes, he's going to have the mob attack him, viciously besmirch his name, whether it's you know, justified or not, just because of these stupid culture war dynamics without giving any adherence to the fact that, oh yeah, this person, this person that is part of this protected class is a pedophile! Just throwing that out there. And also, to focus on your family and mental health. What do you mean to focus on your family and mental health? Why, why, why not the mental health of the individual that you, you know, you, you groomed? Like, oh yeah, I gotta step away to focus on my family and mental health. I'm gonna be real, I don't think there's too much that focusing on your mental health is gonna be able to do, is gonna be able to accomplish when this is the sort of person you are, when this is the sort of the actions that you commit. And at the end of the day, I mean, it, 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 focusing on your family, what family? You abandoned that family to play pretend, to pretend that you were a woman when you were not. So yeah, what family are you referring referring to here. I'm genuinely curious about that as well. I don't see any accountability in this statement. I don't see anything that, uh, you know, you know no, no personal responsibility, no actual apology. Maybe, yeah, sure, you're, you're sorry you got caught, but what is it that you need to reflect on? No, this is just your way of uh, of getting out of the situation, supposedly scot-free without, oh man, at least I'm not going to jail. At least things haven't gotten so much worse. No, this is, you, you, you're trying to placate an audience with this bogus statement. The fan, who is now an adult, said they weren't a victim and even defended Tyson, but admitted that some of the messages were edgy and inappropriate. And you know what? Uh, I don't think that's fair to say. Here's why it's not fair to say. You, you got two reasons. This can go one of two ways. This individual was 13 when this all went down. The idea of grooming, what grooming actually is, is when you talk to someone under, you groom them into normalizing something that would not otherwise be normal. So yeah, of course when they're 13, 14, 15, 16, they're not thinking this is a bad thing, or if they are thinking this is a bad thing, that thought process is slowly weaned away because they are being groomed out of it. So of course by the time you're an adult, your mental, your, your noggin, your gray matter, it's not going to be in a proper space. So yeah, you very well, people defend their, uh, their, their predators, people defend their abusers all the time. You know, Stockholm Syndrome, again, because they've been groomed into doing so, because their brain is so broken. Or, now that, that, that's me being charitable, that's me being like, wow, this is the best case scenario, which is really messed up, because here's the worst case scenario. Let's be real, a lot of folks hurting for cash right now, economy's kind of in the gutter. All I'm saying is that uh, some people might want to have their palms greased with a few millies to be quiet about this situation, or heck, a few hundred thousand. Like, like all I'm saying is I don't know what uh, you know Chris Tyson's financial situation is like. Obviously, he ain't no Mr. Beast, but I'm pretty sure he ain't exactly hurting cash wise. So Chris Tyson approached the dude and was like, "Look." Things are not looking good right now, so here's the dealio. I want to come to you. I'll make a deal with you man to man. Well, not really man to man because you know I don't I, I don't identify as a man, but you get the point. I'm gonna come to you with a deal. I'm gonna make enough for you can refuse. And he decides to give homie a lot of money to defend him and keep it hush hush, keep it under the table. Who knows with some NDAs involved? I don't know. That's all speculation. But let's be real. We can't pretend we haven't seen this sort of stuff before, didn't we? Just recently see a hush money trial for a certain presidential uh, uh, candidate. We know that people pay hush money. That's literally a thing. It's, it's got its own title. So yeah, if I was a victim of uh, uh, sexual abuse from somebody with, with wealth, status, money, power, the whole nine, and then all the truth came out, and I saw the opportunity to make myself a nice chunk of change, I can't say I might not do anything different. Now again, do I know if that's the case? No. It very well could be homie was groomed, and now his brain is so broken, of course he's defending Tyson. It also could be that, yeah, Tyson didn't actually do anything wrong. Again, I highly doubt that. Homie wouldn't be stepping away from Mr. Beast's you know, work and channel and page if that was the case. But, you know, again, crazier things have happened. Women fall 30,000 feet from an airplane and survive, so what do I know? The fact of the matter is, no matter how you slice it, this is a disgusting situation. And it gets so much worse when you look at how the media is handling it. Take a look at this headline from Rolling Stone. Ava Chris Tyson steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. Rolling Stone is trying to make this an issue of transphobia. They're trying to say that Chris Tyson quit Mr. Beast's channel because of transphobic attacks. That is how 
are deeply entrenched in this nutcase ideology that people like Rolling Stone are. Rolling Stone can't even come out and say Chris Tyson's stepping away and or possibly fired because he talked to a minor underage, talked to a child underage, potentially groomed someone as a potential pedophile. No, they have to put in their headline, they're walking away amid transphobic attacks because we all know the vast majority of people out there don't actually read the articles, they just read the headlines. So of course, they're going to write, write the catchiest headline they can, the one that's going to twist the narrative as much as they can, and then that headline gets shared all over X, all over the Google News tab, wherever you may see it, and then you're going to get people who don't follow the news, who don't follow these stories, who aren't entrenched in online culture, and just think, oh my goodness, transphobia, it runs so rampant, everyone's so transphobic, why why would some creator walk away from a channel, you know, just, just because people are being transphobic to them, that's so sad, my heart goes out to the trans community, you don't mention in the title whatsoever that the dude is potentially a pedophile. That is, that is the worst part about this. That is the most disgusting aspect is how the, 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 the shill media, people like Rolling Stone, are handling this. Steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. Is it a transphobic attack to call out pedophilia? And if it is, what does that say about the trans community? Because you can't have your cake and eat it too. Either trans people aren't pedophiles and these are individuals that just are doing bad things on individual level just like straight people do and you need to call it out as the individual. Or, trans people are a monolith TM, and therefore they're all bright and shiny, they're all bad, and you got to pick one. No, no, no. Obviously, I err on the side of the individual. Now, I think the ideology is a disgusting ideology. I think it's a damaging ideology. I think it's a harmful ideology to children, to the society at large. With that being said, it doesn't alter the fact that you can't have your play your you know, uh, have your cake and eat it too game that Rolling Stone is trying to play. Rolling Stone is clearly doing stuff like this because they know it will generate a certain level of, of, of um, belief and a narrative belief in a message. It is purely propaganda. When we see things like my questioning about whether YouTube is covering the story up, which at this point is taking on a mind of its own, this story cannot be covered up. Yeah, they can go ahead and get rid of uh, Tim Pool streams. They can get rid of my boy Hypnotic streams, which both happen. They can uh, you know, they can demonetize certain people's videos. Now, my video won demonetized. How? I got no idea. Who knows if this one will be? Who knows the reach this one will get? But the fact of the matter is, there are people who are suffering censorship attacks from this, or at least they had been. But now, this story has grown to such a degree, you've even got people like Charlie, Penguin Z Zero coming out and condemning it. In fact, condemning it pretty much right away. Uh, you know, there, there was a lot of accusations that, oh, unlike Dr. Disrespect, he's going to hang back and not say anything. No, he said shit effectively right away on his own live stream. But of course, you know, people don't want to do the research for that. Your boy does. I do my research. So yeah, I'm not, as, as much as I'm, uh, you know, not exactly in the corner for Charlie all the time, I will at least acknowledge, uh, yeah, homie was just as quick on this one as he was Dr. Disrespect. People be trying to push false narratives out there. And it's getting so damn annoying. But at the end of the day, that's what we need to focus on. We need to focus on the fact there's a person out there that had uh, that had been abused, whether it be physical, mental, emotional. There was a child that was abused by a YouTuber of money, wealth, power, fame, and that person now is part of a protected class. They've decided to change their gender as if that was something that was magically possible, and in, in doing so, they're trying to avoid any sort of personal accountability, personal responsibility, potential legal repercussion. I don't know what the statute of limitations are, and I don't even know if that's a route we should pursue, depending on the nature of what happened. The fact of the matter is, it does at least seem like it is true, because if it wasn't true, Chris Tyson wouldn't have left the channel or again, in my professional opinion, uh, likely been fired from the channel, but you can't come out and say that. But those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below or let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Word and please do subscribe. I am a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Again, rarely about YouTuber drama. I actually hate doing that, but some stories you just can't ignore. Usually it's about things like anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon and become a member for $4.99. You can join the Discord. Choose the articles I come up with on a day-to-day -day basis, choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols. It is a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity, but only one kind of diversity, diversity of thought. So if that sounds interesting to you, join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.